Recently, I'd read a bunch of claims that AI is quite a while away from being able to get a gold medal at the International Maths Olympiad. This competition is probably the most prestigious maths competition that there is, and I've also heard people claim that if AI could actually get a gold medal at this competition, then that would count as AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, because to be able to solve these problems, you need to demonstrate true critical thinking as well as creativity. Even Metacalculus, which is like a betting site for nerds, put the odds that an AI would win a bronze medal at an IMO by 2025 at just 50% a few days ago. Well now, an AI based on Google's Gemini has gotten a silver medal at the IMO. And not only that, they were just one point shy of getting a gold medal, one point out of 42 points. So it was very, very close. So have we achieved AGI? Let's get into it. First, I want to explain what the problems on this exam look like. I think for a lot of people, um, they imagine that maths at this level must look like solving super hard equations or maybe crunching really big numbers. But that's not actually what these questions are like at all. Let's look at question six on this year's exam. There is an equation, but you're not solving the equation. Instead, it says that some functions f obey this relationship. Then the question says, can you prove that if they do obey that relationship, they also have another particular property? This year, only five out of over a thousand professional mathletes got this question right. And yet alpha proof solved this question and the next hardest question as well. However, getting the AI to solve this question didn't look like just copying and pasting it into Gemini. In fact, I did that just for fun and um, this is what happened. The results look surprisingly coherent, like they look like a proof. I didn't go and actually check that everything was right, but the solution that it gave was wrong, at least according to a solution that I was able to find online. So if just putting this question straight into Gemini didn't work, then how did they solve this? Alpha Proof is the name of the AI that they used and Alpha Proof is based on Gemini, but it's not Gemini by itself. In fact, it's Gemini assisted by another piece of software called Lean. To explain what Lean is doing, I need to explain why maths proofs are a lot like chess. In chess, you have a start state and a state that you want to end up in. For chess, that state is a checkmate. For maths, it's showing something is true about this object that you're looking at. We want to go from your start state via a number of individual steps to the goal. But only certain moves are legal. For example, I can move a pawn forward, but I can't legally move the white queen to h4 from here. Similarly, only certain moves in maths are legal. For example, I could substitute x equals zero in these equations, or I could add y to both sides of the equation. Those are legal moves. But the problem with pure LLMs is that sometimes, whether it's in chess or in a mathematical proof, they might suggest that you do a move that's not actually legal. You see, in maths, it can sometimes be very subtle why a particular move is illegal. Like you might have seen those famous proofs where you prove that one equals two, and you do this by at some point dividing the same thing on both sides of the equation, which seems like it should be legitimate. Only the trick here is that you're actually dividing by zero, which is illegal. And so by sneaking in this illegal move, you're able to prove all kinds of things that aren't true. And so that's what we want to avoid when we're using Gemini. So that's where lean comes in. Lean is a way to rigorously check that every move that you're doing is definitely legal. So alpha proof is actually just a fine tuned version of Gemini that then gets checked by lean at every step. So lean makes sure that Gemini stays on the rails, but that doesn't mean that lean is actually doing the majority of the work here. So much like in chess, there are many, many legal moves that anyone can do. And just because a player can do legal moves, like they know what a proper move is in chess, doesn't mean that they're good at chess. And the same thing is true in maths. There's many legal things that you can do to manipulate an equation. 
but that isn't necessarily going to get you any closer to being able to prove the theorem. And so like in chess, you often have to have a lot of foresight to be able to um, creatively, you know, take a path that seems very winding and ultimately end up at the destination you want to get to. So that spark of creativity is still coming from Gemini. Lean is just making sure that along the way it doesn't get confused by going into a path that's wrong and then not be able to get out of it. It isn't trivial at all to prove something like this. Remember, only five out of a thousand contestants were able to get this question right. So Tim Gowers is a mathematician who has won the Fields Medal, and he's also someone who's very, very interested in automatic theorem provers. And he was one of the judges that marked the work of the AI. And he had this to say, the fact that the program can come up with a non-obvious construction like this is very impressive and well beyond what I thought was the state of the art. So how did alpha proof get so good? Well, there are loads of proofs online, but the problem with those proofs is that it's very hard to learn from them because they're not written in lean. Proofs are usually just written in sloppy, unrigorous human language, which is very hard to translate into something like lean, which is a very rigid and rigorous system. And because they were ultimately requiring the LLM to produce an answer in lean, all of these maths proofs in English or other human languages are kind of useless. But the clever thing that they did is they trained a version of Gemini to just translate a bunch of these sloppy proofs into lean proofs. And then they fine tuned another version of Gemini to take all of those many, many proofs. In fact, there was supposed to be around 100 million proofs and it was fine tuned on those and then able to produce its own proofs. But that version of Gemini still uses Lean to check every one of its steps. And so that is how an AI won a silver medal at the IMO. How impressed should you be by this though? I personally am very impressed. So I did the physics Olympiad training when I was in high school myself and I found it so grueling. And the maths Olympiad is supposed to be on a completely different level. Like, I don't think that most working mathematicians would have done as well as the AI did on this competition, at least without a bunch of extra training. But still, I wasn't as impressed with this result as I could have been, because um, I was hoping that when an AI did eventually get to this level, it wouldn't be a assisted system like this where it had to rely on lean, I wanted it to be a pure LLM. You see, I would have been really excited if it was just an LLM because then you would have irrefutable proof that LLMs are able to do complex reasoning and creative work. On that front though, there is an intriguing paragraph at the very end of the blog post announcing this result. As part of our IMO work, we also experimented with a natural language reasoning system built upon Gemini and our latest research to enable advanced problem solving skills. This system doesn't require the problems to be translated into a formal language and could be combined with other AI systems. We also tested this approach on this year's IMO problems and the results showed great promise. In other words, they tried a LLM-like model on these problems by itself and the results were promising, although obviously not quite as good. So my guess is that by the time the next IMO rolls around, we will have a pure LLM that's able to get a gold medal at the International Maths Olympiad. I'm intrigued to see what mathematical research will look like in the future. And I'm even more intrigued to see how we're going to shift the goalposts on AGI yet again.